so I'm adding texture to the uh, slab for putting on the top of my lid cover jar. Uh, by the way, if you like to have this uh, mat, okay, a design mat, uh, check it out on uh, Chinese clay art. Okay, just Google it. Chinese clay art. They are selling it. I think this is beautiful to put it on top of the uh, the lidded jar that you have a flower. So I'm going to put the slab on this chuck and then I push it. So I'm going to find a nicer area. Okay. And turn it upside down. So I will let it sit for a while and then uh, put it back and attach the top. So I have to bring back the uh, slab, uh, slightly uh, apply pressure to the joint. Can use a uh, wooden rib to do that. And use a sharp knife or needle tool to chop off the uh, edge that is a little bit hanging over. I compress it so that there's a little clay and then uh, they're hanging over so it's easier when you because I'm not going to put any uh, any knot there so they'll be hanging over it's easier for all people to pick up Right, so and then uh, I'm going to poke a hole where I'm going to cut, cut the uh, groove for the uh, the lid to uh, cut it off the spot. So I will do probably a little bit more than halfway.
right so tomorrow i will finish up uh, trimming just like i did before i my previous uh, demonstration and the key is that uh, you want the uh, straight wall okay the wall is straight so that uh, it's fitting so this piece has been trying for a day and uh, i'm ready to cut it open but uh, before I cut it open, I like to put some uh, chattering texture on the side here. So this, way, this is where I uh, poke a hole here, so I'm going to trim here, trim here. So again, I'm using my number 8 trimming tool to make a groove first and then I uh, use my number 10 uh, pointy uh, knife to cut it open. Right, and the uh, there's a little cap there. I will use the uh, coil to uh, fill it in to reinforce it. Right, so I will let it set aside and then use that as a guide to measure the lip.
right, so after uh, caref carefully measure it, now the lid and the body is fitting tight. Um, it's nice to have the uh, the check that is at the data hard stage, so the clay is easy to uh, stick on. Alright, so after uh, carefully um, measure and check, this is another very tight fit of uh, lid jar with the. Uh, texture on top and uh, the key for successfully doing that is that uh, you want to have a chuck so that your piece your lid it is put it upside down and fit in nicely on top of the chuck and then while you are trimming it you constantly uh, check it see if that is a very uh, good fit until you find a very good fit and then you stop Okay, so uh, texture top with the slab and then uh, the body was thrown just straight cylinder. As long as you can throw a cylinder, this method should be easy. Uh, a very tight fit, you can, you can hear the sound. Alright, so thanks for watching. See you next time.